Hey everybody, welcome back to Boomerangs by Vic. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is I want to make a new boomerang design and I wanna make something different for an ax. So I went to Google Image and I put in cool ax designs and I pulled up this one here. Um, I wanna make this, whoops, sorry, did not mean to do that. Let's bring that back up again. Oh, you're kidding, there we go. Okay, so I want to make this particular ax design. I'm not going to make it exactly like all the detail that you see in it with all the ribs, but I want this basic design when I'm finished. So what I did is I printed off just the head of the axe, which you see right here. And I'm going to apply this to wood. I'm going to take you through this whole process. It's going to be a brand new design. I'm going to show you exactly how I do this entire process. Okay, here we go. Um, I have a piece of uh, tracing carbing, carbon paper here and I have this face down underneath of here. It's another sheet you can see. Um, I put a piece of tape here, here, and here just to hold this in place. And all I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to trace around the outer edge of this whole thing. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make the handle wider than what is seen here. So I'm actually just gonna come down and I'm gonna stop right about here and I'll make my own handle. It'll be similar to the original with the uh, bend on the end and I'll show you what this looks like after I trace it. Okay, so I just traced it and untaped it and that's basically the design I'm gonna uh, take off with. This should actually be a really good fly when I'm done. Okay, so now I'm gonna come up with my, my own handle and I'll show you what I came up with when I finish.
Okay, so I, I made a rookie mistake with my trail edge. Um, very foolish of me, actually. Uh, this trail edge here, as you can see in the previous video, I accidentally put it here, and that's that's a big no-no. Um, as you might have seen in my circle chart in older video that I have, I, I know how to put the trail edge because I know where the center of the boomerang is. It's right here. The boomerang spins like this everywhere air touches wings on this side this would be the first part it hits this would be my leading edge so as I'm spinning around air hits here this is trail so that's why I call this the trail edge now if you watch here I put a trail edge on this blade yesterday right across here as you can see when I spin it that's the lead edge this is hitting the wind first or hitting the air first as it's spinning so you want to put your lead everywhere that happens now as you can see I put a very nice trail on the back side of this and I'm also going to put a slight trail right here um, in just a moment because you can see it goes around and air is going to travel this way so this is my lead and this ends up being my trail so I'm going to have this same type of look right here and uh, then I'm going to give it a test throw and if the flight is good I will decorate it and we'll show you that process and then we'll show you the final flight okay so I'm getting ready to paint it as you can see I've made another design change um, I actually took quite a bit off the uh, top right here I cut it right off and made it shorter for a better flight um, now we're going to paint the blade and I've taped off the handle so I don't get any extra paint on there I'm thinking of doing a gray blade with some black highlights and I'm going to do the handle in uh, what do I have here claret wine satin it's actually a very nice color I'll which we'll get to a little bit later. Okay, let's put this in. I have a very fine spray nozzle on here. I don't like a lot of paint going on at once. And I like to just highlight it. I want to shut the light off for a second. Okay. that's got a glare I'm not sure how you're seeing it there we go well 
let that dry, and then I'll tape this off, and we'll do the, the uh, handle. Okay, now we're about to spray on the clarinet, or claret, sorry. We're about to spray on the claret wine satin, and we're gonna highlight it with black. Let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna put the fan on it for a little bit. Do two coats. First one's always lighter than the fur, the second. Should be good. And my nozzle. I'm gonna have to change my nozzle, it's starting to flood up on me here. Okay, I like that. And we'll give it a little highlight with the black. It would be cool to have an airbrush, which I've never had. There we go. I should be able to remove the tape from here. Okay, so as you can see, this is gonna have to dry, and after I'm done, I'm gonna remove the tape from the trail edges. You can see I've got tape here. I like to tape off all trail edges on boomerangs, and uh, once that tape's removed, the uh, boomerang will look actually pretty cool. And then we'll give it a clear coat, and we're gonna take it out for a flight. Okay, so it's all dry, so we're gonna uh, remove the tape. It's my favorite part. have it. Should look a lot better once I get the uh, clear coat on it. Okay the clear coat is now on and drying. It's gonna take uh, a couple hours for that to dry really good so tomorrow hopefully the weather is good and we will go out and give it a throw. Hey everybody welcome back to Boomerangs by Vic. It's finished. Um, came out very nice, I think. Uh, we're going to give it some throws. The funny thing about the way this flies, it flies like my scalper. It's not a nice big circle flight. It's a very oval flight. It's kind of out and then right back, and then it's going to give somewhat of a hover. I may catch it. I may not. Um, I'm not really too crazy about the flight, so I'm probably not going to be selling this. But anyway, I hope you like the build, and uh, we'll get some throws out of it. Okay. Go ahead. So as you can see that bounced off the shed, did the, actually it didn't even do any damage. It hit the wood right there, but it didn't uh, chip it or anything. That's the correct throw right there. That was better. Right yeah, so the wind's very erratic today, kind of in different directions. That's why it's going behind me, in front of me, so it's going to make it hard to even try to get a catch.
So this is the scalper. I wanted to show at least one flight of this. I was hoping that the new design was going to fly like this one. Ask me how I caught it like that, I don't know. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I got afraid to catch it. Oh, is this it? Is this it? Okay, I'm getting some crazy catches, but I'm gonna tell you what. This is dangerous, so you will probably not see this on my website. It's just, it comes back too fast. There's no hover um, like the scalper. So anyway, I think that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed the flight. Oh, and hold on. I wanna give a special shout out to Seven, LOL. Dude, I cannot wait to see you in your clown costume. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I have not named this boomerang. So feel free to tell me down in the comments what you think I should uh, give it for a name. Signing off, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and hit the little bell to get notifications, and enjoy your day.